Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of A New Dawn. And in this episode we are continuing our journey trying to buy enterprises. And in our way, we must we must increase our relations with the towns. So we are here in Riveden. Um maybe I actually want to make the greatest amount of money from, from tournaments as I can. Paralyzed by greed. Actually tournaments are good for two reasons. Not only for money, but for increasing your relations with the town so that you can buy an enterprise later. So yeah, I, I just I just want to have the most of it. Most of the advantages of the tournament by gaining the highest payout. <laughs> yeah, boy. And uh, four teams with eight fighters. This will be a mess, to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, let's see how we'll go. Oh man, right off the bat, can we land somebody? Yeah, and we can. And actually, yeah, you know what? Uh, again, to to avoid the redundancy of the series, I will just show you the first. Uh, round and then I'll cut the rest. I think it's pretty easy uh, If I can aim, you know <laughs> but, uh, Yeah, overall overall tournaments are actually pretty easy and even with this mess of eight uh, Players with four teams. I think it's it's still it's still doable and we can gain quite a quite a good amount of points every single round I suppose you think that was terribly clever so yeah, just to avoid the redundancy of the series, I'll just uh, show you the first round of every single tournament. And then if we get a price, I will show you the price. If we didn't get anything, then yeah, it is what it is. Just do it! And we have three points. Can we get the fourth? There's only one left and he is mine. Madudu. Good luck, my dude. Okay, yeah, we are good to go. Okay, we finished the first, and we've got a Cernid shield. And this is a thick one, but I'm not a shield guy. You know me. I love the life of two-handed weapons, you know? Anyway, yeah, let's move on with our lives. Okay. Errands, night errands again, but this time we have some Kolker troops. And by the way, this will be a little bit challenging because you know, normally archers are not that great against heavy cavalry. Try me, bitch. But I'll try and be a distraction. There's already one down. I will just distract them. Master of the Way scores a kill, which is great. And now all of them are actually aiming for them. That is so bad. Okay, okay, okay. Another one is down. Actually, we're doing good. I didn't expect that. Okay, guys, stand together. Stand closer together. Are they running? Are you kidding me? We haven't killed like, like half of them. Ah, he took an arrow and now he's rooting. Ah, this is actually annoying. Because every time they root, I think I think it, it, it affects our loot. You know, four of them looted. Four of them rooted, not looted. But yeah, we got a decent horse. Oh man, this is actually a very good sword. Oh yeah, this is definitely an upgrade. And I think yeah, these these gauntlets also are an upgrade. Me. But you know, if we got these four guys, we will we will definitely had better loot. But yeah, it is what it is. Oh man, two enterprises are up and running, and we are still losing around one k. Because of these high wages. But it is what it is. We are still gaining money and grinding, you know. 
We will grind until we have enterprises all over Caloradia. Okay, Pike near. I don't know. I haven't seen these guys before. But I think I think I think we can we can fight them. What bro? Because they are pikemen and uh, usually pikemen don't have shields. They are pretty specialized in in knocking cavalry, which we don't have any to speak of. So yeah, we do we do, we don't really care about these pikes these pikemen uh killing somebody or anything. And I don't think actually they will even come closer to our uh, beloved, beloved Kolkar troops. See, nobody cares. We've already seen how powerful they are. You're goddamn right. But we will see. Actually, this party contains only of pikemen, of only one type of troops, which um, I think, I think this, is, th th this actually provides better loot. Uh... Which I'm very much looking forward to. Yikes. <laughs> well, good luck with all that. I'll just try to distract them by circling around them, giving them hope that they can fight a cavalry guy, but they will not. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! <laughs> Sometimes my genius is. It's almost frightening. I'm very evil, if you let me, you know? Okay, some of them can't take this shit anymore. And they are... okay, actually they are not running. But they are confused. And yeah, there are only two of them. I can couch lance that guy and he is down. Ba -ba -ma -doo -doo. Okay, 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 that was easy. That was fairly easy. No one rooted, which I, I very, very like to see. And we've got decent equipment, just as I expected. We need to make some space for these things. And we'll take pretty much all of that. And as always, I will keep the good stuff uh, in the Enterprise and sell the rest. Okay, this guy is following me, which means that <laughs> actually when we fought the uh, mercenary band, this band was actually hired by the Rodox. And I didn't know that. Which is... I don't know. Can we make... Yeah! There's a guy here, so I think I think we can make peace by paying some money. I think. Can I? Ma yeah, fourteen hundred, completely worth it. Because I'll actually be joining you later. Later, my dudes. Six nine errands are down, and we got more gems and another horse. I think I need to get rid. Uh, one of these horses. Oh yeah, more. Actually, the nine errands. Oh man, this is an upgrade. Nine errands. Uh, loot are very, very good. And again, most of them rooted, but it's not a big deal. All right, Bellion slavers, forty-one of them. Mm. Actually, these guys can be. The best troops to fight if you want to upgrade your 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 party, because all of them, like literally all of them, are using throwing weapons. Only you know if they don't have extra troops from recruiting and that stuff. But you know the slavers themselves, the original party, won't have anyone that can kill your troops. It's free real estate. As you can see, actually, all of them, even the cavalry guys, are using hammers. And, uh... Actually, the ranged troops are called hammer throwers. So, <laughs> yeah. They are... I think it's it's pretty safe to fight these guys. You won't lose anybody. Uh, unless... Unless you actually lose the battle? 
Are you serious? Which I'm currently concerned about this, actually, to be honest. There are a lot of cavalry, and we only we only have eight rangers. And then I thought, wow, I am the stupidest person in the world. But now I apologize to myself. We have a new champion. Okay, okay, maybe I haven't done the smartest thing here by fighting these guys. Okay, okay. I was I was actually mad about them rooting, but in this battle, because it's uh, pretty hard, I'm pretty happy to see them rooting out. But can we finish it? This is the real question. Okay. As you can see, these guys on the ground, these are the hammer throwers. As you can see, yeah. Balion hammer throwers. 352 experience for these guys. Another one is down. And I think we are doing great. Actually, I don't think we have lost any kind of 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 Kolko troops so far. Right? Even even I'm not talking about Hey, what happened? Okay. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> I was actually <laughs> wanted to say that no one of them was knocked, but <laughs> One of them was knocked. But uh, yeah, only one of them is knocked. And the rest of the merchants and monks. That's uh, okay. And most of them want to fight back. And I don't have any useless guys. So there is no need to pull them back. And now we can dodge right away and YOLO my way. Ooh, it's 96 damage and he's still alive. Ah... Uh, you got my point from the fir from the first episode, you know, where <laughs> where I said that in this in this mod everything is more than usual. Like literally everything. I didn't need to see that. But yeah, we are we are doing our best. Ah man. The cutting weapons in this mod, especially in this mod, are the worst kind of weapons because their armor are just too good to be penetrated by a cutting weapon and modern problems require modern solutions and again most of them are rooting out which is very annoying but yeah we have killed half of them which is okay okay by me and now we can have them prisoners. Actually, they have pretty good amount of, of prisoners, but I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm interested in the Paladin. And only the Paladin, to be honest. And this initiate can be upgraded to a Paladin, but it will be a, a really, really long journey before that happens. Uh, if he lives long enough, he can be a Paladin, I think. Uh, okay, I don't care about the rest. I'll just go with uh, what we have. War Horse. Okay, this is much slower, but it's tanky. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I, I will use that one. Yeah, it seems cool. And again, I'll take everything. And uh, sell the rest. Sword Sister. These guys or these girls are not hired by anyone. But we can fight them. So we will be fighting them. Keeping all the useless guys back. And... Hey Paladin, move away from... From there. The archers needs to aim. Okay, these are Valkyries. And this is the Soul Sister. Okay, okay. Ah, man. Elephant, are you kidding me? What the hell is even that? <laughs> we must take this elephant down before reaching to our line of archers. 
Because this thing deals a lot of charging damage. Just by charging. Can we kill that guy? Yeah. As you can see, this, this is actually really, really frustrating. Adding these kind of elephants and dragons in, in, in Warband mods. It behaves like like horse. It, it is a horse. But it looks different. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, let's focus on this one. Okay, hello cutie pie. Are you ready? Nope. Oh man, I'm dealing very little amount of damage with the sword. Although that it's, it's a very decent sword, don't get me wrong, but it's still not that great. Especially against decent armors. That's a thick ass maw! Damn! Oh yeah, let's see what we can do with the lance. Okay, she's... She's annoying. She's annoying. Okay, Merchant is down. Sword Sister is down. And... Paladin. You haven't done anything so far. Charge. Okay, just celebrate with us. <laughs> we have lost... Uh, um, one Monk and one Merchant, which is okay. We can get... Uh, some uh, compensation, but yeah, these guys are not that great. I don't think we need any of that. And uh, yeah, we'll go with what we have. And we'll take as much as we can and sell everything. Oh, Sigmund. This guy actually can uh, give us uh freelancer freelancing troops that we can change their equipment i'm not that interested to be honest all right all right we can now join this tournament okay that was a mistake on my part but yeah let's look at this arena mm, actually pretty cool i think uh, i think this is actually very good Especially for Lancers. Although that I haven't got any kills, but yeah, I think I think this this arena can be really good. Mm, okay, oh, one is down. Which is great. And my horse is about to get killed. Which I do not appreciate. No, that's Italian, SpongeBob. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I will, how I will win this. How to win this? Okay, another one is down. Ah, uh, okay, okay. This is this is not looking good. Hey, Hulker, Hulker man. How to win this? How to win this? I really need to. To take care of my horse. Another one is down. But okay, we are not on the top. Okay, we need to get more kills. The horse is down. There are actually three on the same team. Okay, okay, okay. I will get them. I don't care what do you think. All right, we have finished this tournament and we got a bow, balanced battle bow. Great, absolutely great, but I won't be using that. I'll just keep it, maybe, maybe I'll keep it for my companions. Uh, I don't know, I'll just keep it. Okay, what is that? <laughs> Thief Hunter. I've actually leveled up five times. Let's spec everything into strength and power throw. Maybe yeah, everything, everything that is battle skill, you know. And uh, we got bonus in trading because of the merchants. But yeah, we are good to go. Let's move on with our lives. Oh man, we gained four. 4800 despite the awfully high weekly wages 
This is just insane, man. But yeah, we will see. Uh, I think I think the Kurgits have really, really cool horses. If we are lucky, actually, to find the chops. So I will, yeah, I will, I will go around search for a decent horse. This is actually also a decent two-hand weapon, but uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of any cutting damage weapon. You know, confusion of the highest order. So, mm, yeah, let's see the horses. Ooh, steady charger. Oh man. This is this is actually one of the very decent horses to get early on. But I'm actually looking forward for a heavy one, not a timid one, but uh I don't know if we can find a heavy one, so I will keep that and maybe if we find uh a heavy one later on we will buy it. But yeah, anyway, I think that will be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.